the misrule of the KCR's government has prompted me to float a party, a regional party in the state of Telangana, calling it after the name of my dad, YSR Telangana Party. And since the time of its inception last year, we have actively taken it upon ourselves to fight for the people of Telangana. And in that endeavor, I have taken up a walkathon along Padayatra in Telangana that has covered five districts, five erstwhile districts to date, and almost 2,500 kilometers. The sole agenda being to highlight the problems faced by the people of Telangana. While Mr. KCR claims that the people of Telangana are living in a state of bliss, the contrary is true. Therefore, in order to bring to light the problems faced by the people of Telangana and also the failed promises, the promises that KCR failed to keep, we have taken up this long Padayatra that is still yet to continue in the remaining districts of Telangana. That said, I am here today in Delhi to highlight one particular problem to throw light on one particular issue. This being the biggest scam of India. I call this the biggest scam of India because there have been many other scams and notionally they are probably more in value but this particular project that I am talking about, the Kaleshwaram lift irrigation project, the scam of this project is bigger because virtual, it's not just virtual money that's involved here, it's actual physical money that has actually cost the exchequer of this country. Actual physical money has been lost. This is probably the biggest scam in India because in monetary terms the tune of the money involved here is 1 lakh 20,000 crores of rupees. 1 lakh 20,000 crores of rupees was invested in this project called the Kaleshwaram Lift Irrigation Scheme and the money that was thrown into this project has been hugely, hugely siphoned off. Uh, this is, I am surely the most, the only project, irrigation project in India which cost our country 1,20,000 crores of rupees but has especially actually the major ones and the smaller ones. Be it big, be it small, every project is being handed to this company and the big question arises, why? Three major projects of Telangana state is the Kaleshwaram, the Mission Bagiradha and the Palamur Rangaradi irrigation project. All three of them have been handed over to this one particular company called the Mega Engineering and not only these, even smaller works like road maintenance or school supplies or anything for that matter is being awarded to this one particular company. The question arises why? If there is no nexus between the Chief Minister and this company, why? Why is everything being awarded to one particular company? So literally because every project that gets awarded to this company, the Chief Minister and his family has a share and that's why we have demanded for this inquiry. 
and also this infamous project has not only met its purpose of irrigating 18 lakh acres but in turn inundated thousands of acres of land by its backwaters. So on the whole this project is a total fiasco. We have also briefed the CBI on some of the known irregularities. When I say known, these are just a few that have come to light. There are probably, there is probably much more we are sure that was, that we were unable to unearth. So of the few that we were able to unearth, where the, were instances like the cost of the equipment used was hiked many times over. Say for example, equipment that cost this contractor just 1600 crores of rupees from the BHEL has been shown to have costed them 7500 crores of rupees, thereby making a clear profit of 6000 crores just there. And the same with all the other details, say for example motors, motors were purchased for say X amount but they were shown to have been purchased for 4X or 5X. So the project would, that would have otherwise costed just at the most 40,000 crores of rupees, 40,000 crores, yes, has in fact costed 1,20,000 crores and still going upward. So please understand that while one chief minister, my father wanted to do this same project at the cost of 38,000 crores of rupees, why has it costed another chief minister 1,20,000 crores of rupees is the big question. And also there are another instance for criminal abuse of power is that the contracts were not only awarded to empaneled companies but non-empaneled companies and, and on negotiation basis. So there is no basis of allotting or awarding these companies, uh, to these companies, awarding works to these companies. So many rules were broken, many clauses were manipulated to make sure that these works were awarded to colliding parties. The people of Telangana deserve to know on what basis were these works awarded and why majority of the works were awarded to just one particular company called the Mega Engineering Company. And then the quality of works is so disappointingly horrible and the design so bad that it has in fact baffled the experts. The experts have been from the beginning advising against the design of this project because the whole engineering of this project itself is flawed. While the experts have again advised against underground pumping stations, for example, because underground pumping stations are vulnerable to the fury of nature like floods or like floods or earthquakes. The government went in for underground pumping stations just so it will allow them to hike the project cost by at least 30 percent. So, so things like these and the protection walls for example that were supposed to be made of solid concrete, were made of just cheaper materials. So the f so this project or the walls could not hold the flood and the deluge of the waters just flooded the Bahubali motors and so what remains today is just scrap. So there are many things like this. I mean, when my father 15 years ago made the Devadula project almost 15 years ago and that stood the test of time. 
why couldn't KCR's Kaleshwaram stand? In just three years, while Devadala project received more water than, than this Kaleshwaram received, while Devadala project received 29 lakh cusacks of water in the recent floods and still stood firm, Kaleshwaram project could not even handle 28 lakh cusacks of water. That only proves the competency of one leader, YSR, and the incompetency and the corruption of another leader, KCR. And to top all this up, Mr. KCR has also made a fool of himself by ridiculously claiming that this flood is actually a conspiracy theory, a conspiracy by foreign powers, that they resorted to cloud seeding, thereby causing the flood, which in turn inundated the pump houses. So on the whole, what we are trying to say is a project that cost 1,20,000 crores of rupees already spent is the is a huge amount and this money is not notional money it's actual money lended loaned by the central financial institutions if that is just the capital cost of this company then the annual cost of maintaining this project is going to be more than 10,000 crores of rupees every year because there is going to be the debt servicing and there is going to be the electrical charges because water has to be lifted, all the water, this is a lift irrigation scheme, all the water has to be lifted and filled into the reservoirs. So there is a huge burden. One, there, there has been a huge burden on the center on the center because this is a national thing because the funds came from the central financial institutions and then it is going to be a huge burden for the state because it's going to be an annual burden for the state as well so the question arises why is no action being taken against a contractor that that cost all these pump houses to be submerged. So there are three major projects like I told you in Telangana, the Kaleshwaram, the Mission Bagiradha and the Palamur Ranga Reddy project. All of them awarded to this one particular company but when irregularities happened, no action has been taken against this person. The question arises why? Kaleshwaram sank in three years, no action has been taken. Mission Bagiradha is a project that was meant to give water through pipelines to every household. And so, the pipes used were old pipes, the water tanks were just repainted and the project name written on it uh, like it was a new project, like it was a newly made thing. And almost 8 or 10 people died of the polluted water from this project, yet no action has been taken.